Troy's Everyday Eats brought to you by the Fresh Market. Digging Troy's new picture there. 7-Eleven now is rising. Gets you ready. I'm Derek James. Chef Troy going to be showing us how to make bourbon caramel roast peaches this morning in Everyday Eats. Good morning. Hey, good morning, everybody. Yeah, I'm in here in the Rising Kitchen. I wish we could be outside, but I thought we would do some peaches inside today. Just to show you how simple some peach desserts can be. Now, peaches are one of my all-time favorite summer ingredients. They're always nice and juicy. I went to the Fresh Market, and I've, you can see I've got a whole bunch here. We're going to do two different kinds. At 8 o'clock hour, we're going to do a cobbler, and they're literally, this is all the ingredients in that. There's, you know, maybe 10 ingredients. A few of those are kind of duplicated, but it's super simple, just like the first dish that we're going to do, which is a roast peach dish. Now I like peaches just raw, maybe tossed in a salad or even cold with some ice cream or something like that, but there's nothing like kind of bringing out that natural sweetness when you heat it up. So like I said, I went to the fresh market and I just got some peaches and uh, I went for the roasted ones. I got some that are just a little bit bigger and I got the yellow peaches. For the cow bar, I got ones that were just a little bit smaller. And you want to get these when you roast them when they're just a, a little more firm. You don't want them too soft because we're going to soften those up in the oven. So basically what I did is I just cut across the equator this way so that way you don't want to cut it that way you want to cut it this way so the pit side is exposed and then I just take a little melon ball and you can just lift that pit right out of there all right so I got a pan going about medium high heat we're just going to drizzle these just with a little bit of oil just so they don't stick to the pan and what this is going to do we're going to put these down cut side down so we'll start caramelizing those and then we're going to finish them in the oven and you probably could do this all in the pan, but I kind of like that convection heat of the oven to where it kind of surrounds it and gets it all nice and soft. So I've got a, a big pan bigger than I really need, but it's nice and hot. We're just going to put those down, cut side down. Now you can let these go two or three minutes, but basically all you're trying to achieve is just getting some color on the bottom of those. All right, so to top this, we're going to do a little bit of pecan and maybe some granola, but we're going to put a bourbon caramel on that. Caramel is super simple to make. I've just got some dark brown sugar. We're going to put that. Now, that pan's already warm, so we want to start melting that sugar just a little bit, just to soften it, kind of get it going. Now, just to give it a chance to cook without burning, even though caramel is basically just burnt sugar, depends on how long you let the stage go. So we're going to start melting this in the water. The water is going to give it enough time just to kind of cook through. And then we're going to add some bourbon. That's going to give it a ton of flavor. So the other ingredients that we've got left are just butter and cream. And I'll show you how to work that into the caramel when we come back. Back to you guys. Life is peachy here in the Rising Kitchen. We're working on our roasted peaches right now. We've got them in the pan. You can see they got that nice golden brown where the sugars have caramelized. Now I'm going to stick them in the oven about 425 degrees just until they're done, basically, just until they're nice and tender. It might take 10 minutes. Depends on how firm your peach is, but we'll check them with a little knife as soon as it pierces. All right, so for our caramel, it's starting to boil now, so we're going to add just a little bit of vanilla extract. Actually, almond extract. You want to just stir that in there. Stop stirring it. We're going to make a whipped cream real quick. We got whipped cream, a little powdered sugar, some almond extract. We're going to get that whipped up when we come back. Hey, good morning, everybody. Life is peachy. We're working on our peach recipes now. In the 8 o'clock hour, we're going to do a peach cobbler. Super simple. Anybody can make that. We're going to do it in cast iron skillet. You can do it individually if you want. But right now, we're working on our roasted peaches. We got those in the oven. They're just about done. So we're working. We're going to finish our caramel real quick. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's real big bubbles, which means it's getting nice and thick. So that was just brown sugar, a little bit of water, a little bit of bourbon. So now we're going to mount it with a little bit of butter. This butter softened. We're just going to put a little bit in there, maybe three tablespoons, and we'll start whisking that up. See how thick it is? So the butter is going to, you know, make it nice and creamy and buttery, but we're going to stabilize the caramel with just a little bit of cream. You know what? I'm going to put the rest of that butter in there as well. So we'll get that all whisked in. And while that's melting, I've got some granola here and just a warm pan, nothing hot, a little bit of granola. And just a few pecans. Went to the fresh market, got some roasted pecans. We'll get those in there. And basically, we're just waking those up. Just waking those up. Just getting those nice and warm. All right, so the butter's melted. We're whisking that in. I'll let that go while we get the peaches out of the oven. So those were super simple. We just had the oven or the pan about medium-high heat. Cut the 
peaches in half, we oiled them, we put them cut side down in the pan and got them nice and caramelized and then we put them in the oven so they got nice and soft. You can see how soft they are. All right, so to finish the caramel, finish whisking that butter in, you can see it's already taken on a different color, but we're gonna stabilize this with just a little cream and make it even more rich. Now, obviously this is still warm, so it's gonna be a little loose, but that's fine because our peaches are warm. You don't want to put cold caramel on there. Let's get a little cream. All right, plating is super simple. We're gonna take our plate. Let's take our peaches. Now's when we're gonna fold them over, get that big reveal of the caramelized sugar, natural sugar from the peaches. Check that out, oh my gosh. My favorite thing to eat in the summer, peaches, corn, and tomato. All right, so let's take a little bit of our caramel. Let's just drizzle that over the top. Nice and warm all over the plate so you can dip it. Now you definitely could serve this with ice cream, but we made hand whipped whipped cream. It's definitely got my mouth water. Granola, pecans, and then we're gonna take just a little bit of this whipped cream right on top, and I'll finish garnishing this. And when we come back, we'll start on those cobblers. But for now, back to you guys. We are in the Rising Kitchen. Life is peachy. We're working on our peach desserts. We just finished one. Our roasted peaches with a little bit of granola, roasted pecans, caramelized those in a pan, made homemade whipped cream, the bourbon, there's bourbon in the caramel. Now we're working on our cobbler. Same deal with the peaches. You just want to cut it across the equator. I usually start at the pit, whether the crack is. I spin it around, and then I open it up, take out the seed or the pit, and then cube them, or actually put them into wedges. We got some butter melted. We're gonna put those in here like this. We're gonna soften those up for about two or three minutes. When we come back, we're gonna start putting that cobbler together with the drop biscuit topping. Back to you guys. Hey, good morning, everybody. Life is peachy. We're here in the Rising Kitchen. We're working on our peach cobbler. We've already done some roasted peaches. Now, the peach cobbler, we've just got those started. We melted about, I don't know, a stick of butter, and then we've got about six cups of peaches is what the recipe calls for in WCCB Charlotte, clicking on the rising tab. So basically what we're trying to do now, and this is all gonna depend on how firm that your peaches are when you go to the fresh market. You know, I tend to, when I'm doing cobbler, I get some that are a little bit soft because I don't wanna cook them until they're starting to fall apart. You can see some of these are, and that's okay. They're just releasing their juices, but most of them, for the most part, were just firm enough to where you can cut and pull that pit out. All right, so we're gonna do this in an iron skillet. So I've just got a little bit of butter. And I'm just buttering the skillet getting it on that way it doesn't stick plus yeah, butter tastes good so all right so we'll put that there now with our peaches um, you know I've tasted them they're sweet but they're not super sweet and this is the amount of brown sugar that the recipe calls for but I don't feel like it's gonna need all that so I'm gonna leave a little bit out because the peaches are pretty much sweet enough on their own I don't like anything that's like overly sweet anyway so I'm gonna leave that that recipes and time and temperatures they're just gauges to go by in your recipe just make sure you're, you're tasting your food so what we're gonna do now now we made caramel for our roasted peaches and this is a similar technique. There's gonna be a caramel with this cobbler that's gonna kinda coat all the peaches and it's just gonna be nice and lush. So in order to tighten this up with the, the caramel itself, we just let it cook and thicken up itself. But with this, we're gonna add just a little bit of flour. If you're gluten-free, you know, you can, there's alternatives that you can do instead of flour or you can just leave it out. Uh, this is just gonna help tighten up that cobbler. All right, so we'll do that. So now, to top our cobbler, you could do this similar to what we did with the roasted peaches with just a little bit of granola or something like that, but we're actually gonna do what I call a drop biscuit. And it's very similar to making like biscuits you would have in the morning, just a little all-purpose flour. And then we've got some sugar because we're gonna sweeten it up just a little bit. Baking powder, baking soda, the ultimate culinary push-up bra. And give these, get these nice and fluffy. We'll get those mixed in. Oh, we gotta add a little pinch of salt. Get that mixed in. Now this is sour cream. Instead of adding buttermilk or regular milk or whatever, we're gonna uh, start working that in. I gotta get my butter out of the refrigerator. I almost forgot. But you wanna keep it nice and cold. That way you can work it into the biscuits. All right, so we'll get that in there. I've already cut it into little cubes, but now we just wanna use the fork and just kinda mash it in there with that sour cream. And I know we're running out of time, so our peaches are looking good. We're gonna let those cook down a little bit. I'm gonna start working this butter into the flour. And when we come back, we'll put the peaches into the skillet. We're gonna top it with the cobbler top or the biscuit topping. But for now, let's just toss it back to you guys while I work on this dough. Hey, good morning, everybody. Here in the Rising Kitchen, working on our peach desserts. Man, it smells so good in here. All right, so we're working on our peach cobbler right now. So just kind of get you where we're at. If you just joined us, we uh, took, got some peaches at the fresh market, took the pit out, 
cut them into wedges, and then we put them in with a little bit of melted butter, added some brown sugar, some almond extract, and cooked them just until they're soft. Matter of fact, I've got the, the pan off now because I've got the texture of the peaches exactly where I want them because this isn't going to stay in the oven for not too long. We're, you know, 15 or 20 minutes, 425 degrees. We've already got the oven set for that. So I got a cast iron skillet. You definitely don't have to have a cast iron skillet. The whole purpose of both of these desserts was just, you know, easy, quick, easy, fun, tasty stuff that you can do at home. Most of this stuff's in your pantry anyway. Uh, if you don't have an iron skillet, you definitely could use, you know, like some individual crocs or, you know, like ramekins or something like that. Or you could just do it in a casserole dish. You know, just anything that's oven safe, really. And actually, you probably could have done all this right into, you know, we could have cooked it in the iron skillet itself. All right, so let me get to, my mouth is water. I love peaches. Summer is like my favorite with peaches and tomatoes and corn. All right, so we made our drop biscuit dough. Basically, it's just biscuit dough, but instead of adding buttermilk, we added some sour cream. And we're just going to take, you know, about thumb-sized pieces of this, and we're going to start spreading it around. As I mentioned, we had the oven about 425 degrees, and uh, we're, this is going to be in there for about 10 or 15 minutes. So we'll take this and you want to kind of spread it around if you you know break these pieces up a little smaller if you need to and get to all evened out I just love the fact that that brown sugar has turned into a caramel and then we're gonna take that and then we're gonna put this in the oven like I said 10 or 15 minutes we'll get that in there I just so happen to have one that's already done we'll check that out so that's been in here for about 10 minutes check this out all right so this is probably my favorite dessert. You definitely could serve it with ice cream if you want to. So we're just gonna take, let me get this. Let's just take a little wadge of this out here. All right, I'll oh, check that out. All right, so you've got the, you know, the sweet biscuits. You definitely have the peach flavor in there. Now we're gonna top it with just a little bit of this homemade whipped cream right on the top. Now our other dish that we did were roasted peaches. Those were super simple too. They just had a little bit of caramel, the bourbon caramel, homemade whipped cream, granola, some pecans. If you want either one of these recipes, you can go to WCCB Shark, clicking on the Rising tab. There's even a Troy's Everyday Eats tab on there. If you have any suggestions for a show or something you'd like to learn how to cook, hit me up on Facebook, Troy's Everyday Eats, and we'll see what we can do. Guys, I'm going to dig it in this cobbler. Back to you. Mm.